Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. We have another hair journal for you, Acts chapter 12. Acts of the Apostles, the history of the early church. Here to see, we focus on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading a chapter of Acts each day. And then we're doing a hear journal. This is a journaling method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn about hear journaling. Now, Acts chapter 12. Let's read and listen and like and subscribe so you can see others. Chapter 12. James is killed and Peter is imprisoned. About that time, King Herod Agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church. He had the apostle James, John's brother, killed with a sword. When Herod saw how much this pleased the Jewish people, he also arrested Peter. This took place during the Passover celebration. Then he imprisoned him, placing him under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring Peter out for public trial after the Passover. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. Peter's Miraculous Escape from Prison The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep, fastened with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly, there was a bright light in the cell, and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, Quick, get up. And the chains fell off his wrists. Then the angel told him, Get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me, the angel ordered. So Peter left the cell following the angel. But all the time he thought it was a vision. He didn't realize it was actually happening. They passed the first and second guard posts and came to the iron gate leading to the city, and this opened for them all by itself. So they passed through and started walking down the street, and then the angel suddenly left him. Peter finally came to his senses. It's really true, he said. The Lord has sent his angel and saved me from Herod and from what the Jewish leaders had planned to do to me. When he realized this, he went to the home of Mary, the mother of John Mark, where many were gathered for prayer. He knocked at the door in the gate, and a servant girl named Rhoda came to open it. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that instead of opening the door, she ran back inside and told everyone, Peter is standing at the door. You're out of your mind, they said. When she insisted, they decided it must be his angel. Meanwhile, Peter continued knocking. When they finally opened the door and saw him, they were amazed. He motioned for them to quiet down and told them how the Lord had led him out of prison. Tell James and the other brothers what happened, he said. And then he went to another place. At dawn, there was a great commotion among the soldiers about what had happened to Peter. Herod Agrippa ordered a thorough search for him. When he couldn't be found, Herod interrogated the guards and sentenced them to death. Afterward, Herod left Judea to stay in Caesarea for a while. The Death of Herod Agrippa Now Herod was very angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon, so they sent a delegation to make peace with him because their cities were dependent upon Herod's country for food. The delegates won the support of Blastus, Herod's personal assistant, and an appointment with Herod was granted. When the day arrived, Herod put on his royal robes, sat on his throne, and made a speech to them. The people gave him a great ovation, shouting, It's the voice of a god, not of a man. Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Herod with a sickness, because he accepted the people's worship instead of giving the glory to God. So he was consumed with worms and died. Meanwhile, the word of God continued to spread, and there were many new believers. When Barnabas and Saul had finished their mission to Jerusalem, they returned, taking John Mark with them. All right, Acts chapter 12. Now for the Hear Journal. First, the highlight. Acts chapter 12, New Living Translation. 
James is killed, and Peter is imprisoned. Verse 1. About that time, King Herod Agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church. He had the apostle James, John's brother, killed with a sword. When Herod saw how much this pleased the Jewish people, he also arrested Peter. This took place during the Passover celebration. Then he imprisoned him, placing him under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring Peter out for public trial after the Passover. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep, fastened with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly, there was a bright light in the cell. An angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, Quick, get up, and the chains fell off his wrists. Then the angel told him, Get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me, the angel ordered. So Peter left the cell, following the angel. But at the time he thought it was a vision. He didn't realize it was actually happening. They passed the first and second guard posts and came to the iron gate leading to the city and this opened for them all by itself. So they passed through and started walking down the street and then the angel suddenly left him. Peter finally came to his senses. It's really true, he said. The Lord has sent his angel and saved me from Herod and from what the Jewish leaders had planned to do to me. Wow, praise God, the angel saved him. Now, explanation. It's a fascinating story of Peter's rescue from a very secure prison, but we also learn that John's brother James was killed. This begs the question, why did God save Peter, but yet let James be killed? Why? We should not expect much time trying to understand God's ways. He will reveal what he wants us to know at the right time. We, we need to obediently follow him whether we understand it or not. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That's Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, ESV. So my response, Lord, thank you for your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instruction. I will strive to follow for your purpose. Now you try it. You do some hair journaling. Go ahead, give it a try. Don't be discouraged. God is not going to disappoint you. Read some scripture and write it down. Highlight, explain, apply, and respond. And comment below. Share your experiences. Have you read Acts chapter 12? What's your thoughts about it? If you don't know Jesus as Savior, read John chapter 3 to receive forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you. He really, really does. Keep seeking Him and see it in chapter 13.